Let me see in the chat real quick. You guys ready to see how this works? We're gonna demo this live for you right now. And I'm gonna ask for your participation as well. And so I'm gonna exit my presentation right now really quickly. And I want you, all right? I want you to drop in the chat some cities throughout the country. Do me a favor and drop some cities throughout the country really quickly. And as you do that, I want you to realize that you are killing, well, I'm killing two birds with one stone. As I do this, I want you to realize that I am building a buyer's list simultaneously while I'm also identifying the sexiest sweet spots throughout the country, all right? So as I do this, pay attention to that. Now, let's see here. Let's see here. I am looking at the chat real quick. Let me scroll back up and see. Okay, so Christina was the first one to respond. We're gonna start there. So Cleveland, Ohio was the one she said. We're gonna click on Cleveland, Ohio. And remember, we want to identify the sexiest sweet spots throughout the country. And so we're doing right, what I call right now, this is what's called market analysis. Write this down. This is the first thing you must do before you get into this business. Before you enter a marketplace, you have to analyze the marketplace. What we're doing right now is we're trying to find where the most cash buyer transaction and activities are happening throughout the country. And we're doing that because we don't make money unless we have buyers for our deals. So why the hell would I go somewhere where there's no activity, where there are no cash buyers? So I'm gonna show you in how just a few seconds we can find cash buyers in the most active, sexiest sweet spots throughout the country, all right? So I'm gonna select cash buyers right now. That's the very first thing we do. Now I'm gonna select individual and business because sometimes these buyers will buy properties in their personal name or their business name. And I'm gonna select only these property types right here, single family houses, condos and townhouses. Then I'm gonna click on search. So let's see what comes back for Christina here. Let's see how sexy and amazing this marketplace is. All right, so let's see here. This market, over 32,000 transactions in this area. That's a great market. Now look here, what I'm looking at right here are these blue dots, these blue circles, right? When you look at these blue uh, balls, you wanna look for the numbers that are the biggest, right? You wanna look for the bigger numbers. So look here, I can see 1500 right here. I can see 1300 over here, right? Where else? Do you see any other big numbers? 27 right here. That's one of the big ones I've, biggest ones I've seen so far. See 2,100 over here, 2,300 here. So 27 and 2,300 were the biggest so far, all right? And so moving around, and I'm just looking for the biggest areas. Now, once I've identified this, the area that has the most activity, which is clearly this one right here, I'm gonna zoom in on this area right here. And as I zoom in on the area, it tells me, you, you can, you'll start to see more dots populate, and it tells me, this is a very sexy area. There's a lot of activity happening in this area right here. And so I'm gonna focus all of my time and effort on that area. Why the hell would I ever do deals in these outskirt markets here, right? There's not a lot of stuff going on down here. Why the hell would I go down here? I don't even know what part of the, uh, the, the area this is. It looks like Broadview Heights. Why the hell would I go through to, to our Broadview Heights when it says there's literally two transactions there? You see, I'm not, I'm not guessing on this stuff. The data tells me exactly what to do, where to go. So now I see, okay, all the activity is happening right here, at least most of it. And so you can see simultaneously also in this column over here is telling me who the buyers are that bought houses in that area, all right? Now let's look at another one for, uh, for the sake of it. Let's look at, uh, okay, so David said Detroit. So let's look at Detroit, Michigan. Let's see what's going on there. So Cleveland, Ohio had 3,200 transactions. Let's, let's look at Detroit. Let's see how Detroit's doing, David. All right, so a few seconds, the system is populating, it's processing right now. Oh my God, look at this. 74,000, over 74,000 transactions in this area. This is pretty damn sexy. Now I'm gonna zoom in here, just like we did on the other one, in the other market, you zoom in and you just find the area. My third grader could do this, okay? Any third grader could do this. You just zoom in and you find the area, hey, can your kid pick out the area that has the most activity? Which area has the, the biggest numbers? Well, so far I can see 5,600 right there. Oh, look, we got 6,500 right there. If your kid could do it, you could do it. This, isn't rock, this is not rocket science, guys. All right, so I come over here, I zoom in, boom, boom, boom. And guess what? 
over here, the system tells me within seconds, the zip codes. So we wanna get down to the very zip codes that have the most activity. So this zip code, I'm gonna write it down here. So David, what we wanna do is write down 48224. So this is a very hot zip code in this particular marketplace. I didn't guess on this. The system literally told me that. And this system, this data is updated every single day. Now, check this out. So now I just solved the problem with uh, finding cash buyers and finding the sexiest sweet spots throughout the country. You guys realize that. I just killed two birds with one stone. But let me show you how this works. Let me break it down for you even more. Once you've identified, write this down, guys. Once you've identified the sexy sweet spot in your area, in whatever target area you're, you're going after, you then need to switch over and find motivated sellers. You guys with me, by the way? You guys following along? This, does this make sense so far? I want to make sure you're with me. I want to make sure I'm not talking over anyone's head here. I want to make sure you're getting this. You're absorbing this. You're getting clarity here. Uh, and this is just a tip of the iceberg, by the way. We're just getting started. I ain't seen, you ain't seen nothing sexy yet. You're about to see some sexiness right now. It's going to be dripping with nothing but sexiness. Check this out. All right, so we're in zip code 48224 right now. Let me show you how this works. Now, you need to find sellers, right? We don't make money unless we have sellers to make offers to. So how the hell do you do that? Remember, I just talked about a lead type to go after when you want motivated sellers is absentee owners. So you come in the exact same system. In fact, what I'm going to do right here, I'm going to put in 48224. 48224. I'm going to type in that zip code real quick. I'm going to select it. I'm going to deselect Detroit. And the system is going to repopulate again for me <laughs> real quick. And as it repopulates, it's going to show me, okay, in this one zip code, look, a lot of transactions going on there. Now, I'm going to click on this right here. Lead type, I'm going to say, uh, change that from cash buyer to absentee owner. Why am I doing that? Because now I know a sexy zip code, but now I got to find sellers. I need to go after lead types that represent sellers. So let's see what's going on here. Let's check out the opportunity compared to buyers in that area. You can see here, there's over 5,700 absentee owners in this one zip code. I'm not even talking about the entire city of Detroit, Michigan. I'm talking about this one zip code has over 5,700 absentee owner transactions. Now check this out. Let me show you what you do step by step. You come in here in this system and you can see, okay, this person right here, this person right here, this person, all of these are absentee owners. So you can do this. Check this out. What you want to do now is come in the system. Let me actually do this real quick. Let me, let me clear this. I'm going to remove all, delete all of these leads. You can see it says zero right now. So what you want to do is you want to get the contact information now for all of these people. There's over 5,700 people here. And by the way, my system allows you to download 5,000 leads per day, per day. Write that down, 5,000 leads per day. That's a hell of a lot of leads. Now, we got 5,700 here to work with. You're going to click here, this arrow, click on select all. You see how it changed to 5,700 up here? Now I'm going to click on my leads, click on that, and then I'm going to click on skip trace. Now, skip trace allows you to get the contact information for all of these people. I'm talking about the phone numbers. Now, in my system, it costs 10 cents per record. But if that's too rich for you, that's okay. You come over here, download the leads into a, an Excel spreadsheet, and then you can use other third-party uh, software out there and, and resources and services that also allow you to skip trace for free. Costs you nothing, but you're gonna have to do it one by one. In my system, it allows you to do it in bulk, all at once, 5,700 at 10 cents a record, boom, you got the phone numbers. Or you can use other services. Now, check this out. Watch this step by step. I want to make sure you're following along. Once you have the phone number for all of these people now, here's how this works. You pick up the phone and you call the first person on the list. And you say, hey, I see your house. I see that you own this house at 5932 Whittier Street. And I'm buying houses in the area. And I just wanted to know, possibly, maybe, might you be interested in selling this property? They might say, you know what? Hell no, I'm not interested in selling this house. In fact, how the hell you got my number in the first place? They cuss you out. They hang up the phone on you. What are you going to do? Let me see in the chat real quick. What are you going to do? <laughs> exactly, Emmanuel. You move the hell on. You move the hell on to the next person on the list at 5926 Whittier Street. You pick up the phone. You call them. You say, hey, listen, I see that you own this amazing house over here on this street, but you're not living there right now. But I'm new to the area. I'm buying houses in this area. I just wanted to possibly maybe, would you be interested in selling this house? And they say, you know what? I appreciate your call, but you know, ah, I'm not interested in selling the house today. This is actually a very good rental property for me. I have great tenants in there. I'm making good money on the house. But you know what? Since you called and asked me the question, 
I might consider selling it, but not today. Why don't you call me? Why don't you follow up in six months from now or maybe even 12 months from now? And so you say, okay, no problem. Thank you so much. Uh, write down your name, your phone number, the best way to contact you in the future, and I'll follow up in six to 12 months. But let me ask you a question. Who's trying to make money in six months or 12 months versus today? How many of you are trying to make money today, right now? You're trying to make it rain today. Dude, waiting six months, 12 months from now, ain't gonna pay my bills. It's not gonna put food on the table. How many of you are trying to secure the bag today, right now? I ain't trying to wait, right? But I'll follow up with you, but I'm trying to make money now. So what do you do? What do you do? You move the hell on, exactly. You call the next person on the list. And so you go down the list and you see this person at 5933 Kensington Avenue. You say, hey, listen, I see that you own this property. I just wanted to know possibly maybe might you be interested in selling the house today. And they say, as a matter of fact, I am. I'm sick and tired of these stupid tenants calling me all hours of the day, the day and night, wanting about this and that. I'm willing to sell my house to you. What are you, what are you talking about? What, what's your offer? And so you get excited. You sit up in your chair you're like, oh my God, I got someone on the hook. I got someone to reel in right now. And so you talk to them, you have a conversation with them and you, through your conversation, you realize, oh my God, this is a great deal. If I can get them at the right price, this could be an amazing deal for me. And so you make them an offer. You fill out this simple one-page purchase agreement. You send it to them through DocuSign or through some electronic signature type of software or even just your regular email. And once they get this agreement through their email or through DocuSign, you review the agreement with them. You make sure they understand all the terms and agreements, that everything that they're agreeing to. Once they sign it, remember what happens. Once they sign this agreement, you have equitable rights and interest in that deal. You are now a principal in the transaction. That's literally all it takes is for a seller to sign an agreement, allowing you, giving you permission to buy their house. And you have three options here. You can close the house, flip it. You can close the house, keep it as a rental property, or you can sell this freaking piece of paper for tens of thousands of dollars. This piece of paper that was once worth nothing until that seller signed it is now worth a hell of a lot of money. So you take this piece of paper, you go market this amazing, sexy deal to find a buyer. But you're thinking to yourself right now, even on this call right now, Thomar, this sounds great, but where the hell am I gonna find buyers? I don't got no buyers. I have this amazing deal in the zip code right here, the zip code at 48224, but I don't got no buyers. Remember, we just showed you how to find the buyers. Let me show you how this works. So now that you have this amazing deal, let's say, let me, you tell me how much money you wanna make, by the way. You got this amazing deal for $100,000. You tell me in the, in the chat real quick, how much money y'all wanna make on this deal? Real quick, just, just, just drop some numbers in the chat for me real quick. How much money y'all trying to make on this deal? All right, and, and don't be shy about it either, all right? Then give me some numbers here. 10,000, 7,000, 15,000, 20,000. All right, so I see a lot of people saying $10,000. So you got this property in the contract for $100,000. What are you gonna market this deal for? If you wanna make 10 grand, let me see my, my, smart, uh, my smart folks here. You wanna make 10 grand, what are you marketing this deal for? This simple piece of paper, this amazing deal, right? You market it for $110,000. It's that simple. This isn't hard. So you market it for $110,000. And so you find buyers that are interested in that deal. But how the hell do you find the buyers? Well, you come back in this system, in this zip code. Remember, we got the zip code selected right here, 48224. And within a few minutes, you click on cash buyers, right? And within a few seconds or minutes, the system, boom, right there, right? These are buyers that recently bought houses in the last few days, weeks, and months in the exact same zip code, in the exact same community. Look at this right here. You scroll down here, what was that street that we said? Kensington, look at this right here, oh my God. Someone recently bought a house on the exact same street. We got two people right here. Oh my, actually more than that. One, two, three, scroll down, four. Look at this, five. I could keep, I got pages and pages of, of, that I can go through of people who recently bought houses for cash in the exact same zip code as your deal, in the exact same community as your deal, maybe even the same subdivision as your deal. So what do you do? What do you think your next move is? Well, just like you did with the sellers, you skip trace these leads, you pick up the phone and call these people and say, hey, listen, I see that you own this property here at 5975 Kensington Avenue. And I just wanted to know possibly, maybe, might you be interested in buying more properties? Might you be interested in adding more properties to your portfolio? And they say, yeah, as a matter of fact, I am. So you get their information, you email them the details of the property, they go inspect the house, and they say, oh my God, this is an amazing deal. Yes, I'd like to move forward with you and buy this deal. And so you, you take your purchase agreement. Say, awesome, I'm marketing this deal for 110. My asking price is 110, let's move forward and get this deal done. So you had your buyer fill out a second type of agreement called the assignment contract. This assignment contract allows you to legally assign all of your rights and interests in this deal over to this third party. The person that actually has the money and they step into your shoes and take over everything. And when they close on that deal, on the day of closing, you walk away with a 
thousand dollar check or wire because I, I like wires. I don't like checks. All <laughs> right. So you walk away with a ten thousand dollar payday. Did you need to use your own cash? No. Did you use? Did you need to run your credit? No. Did you need to take out a loan? No. Did you need a license to do this? No. Did you need to rehab the house? Certainly not. So you didn't even need to deal with the headache of dealing with contractors because it doesn't matter. Now, let me show you also, let me show you also the other unfair advantage, right? I just solved sellers and buyers for you. Now, let me show you, let me just pick, let's say Atlanta, for example, Atlanta, Georgia. If you ever need buyers, I'm sorry, lenders, if you ever need lenders, well, very quickly, you come in here, type in a city and boom, just like that, over 4,700 lenders in this area, high net worth individuals that you, that you can reach out to and see if they might be interested in funding your deals, right? Guys, pretty cool, right? Pretty cool stuff. Let me see. Let me see now in the chat. Mine's blown yet. Pretty sexy stuff. Let me see. So I, someone says, I love this. I love that. Awesome. 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 Let me see before I move on. Pretty cool stuff. Pretty cool stuff, right? Can you all see yourselves doing this now? Can you all see yourselves playing matchmaker? Can you all see yourselves doing one deal a month? Maybe five deals a month? Maybe 10 deals a month doing this? Can you see yourself doing this? Let me see. Awesome. Awesome. Yes. Pretty cool stuff. Cool stuff. To the moon, baby. Exciting. Sweet. I love that. Hey, Domer Cross here. Thank you so much for checking out the video. Be sure to drop a like and comment if you enjoyed it. And by the way, I have so much more amazing, sexy content coming up on real estate investing, entrepreneurship, and so much more. So be sure to subscribe, hit that subscribe button right now so you don't miss another video or upload. And by the way, follow me on Instagram as well. It's Domar Cross on Instagram so you don't want to miss any of my content there either. And finally, check out automatedinvestor.com if you want to learn more about real estate investing, how you can get started with no money, no credit, no real estate license so you can also change your life and make a lot of money in the process all right subscribe like comment and i'll see you in the next video take care